my topic, topic is psychology of vocal music because my, as you realized, my interest is healthy life and working out and, and healthy life. <laughs> so I choose the vocal music. So why is essential thing in the gym? Uh, is that for sports equipment? Uh, maybe, maybe we can easily imagine the gym with loud and exciting music. So, as you can see, people people often to often often listen to music while we uh, listen to music without distinguishing aerobic, aerobic exercise like running and cycling or unaerobic exercise like such as weightlifting. So uh, people people listen to music while exercising or feel like that it music helps 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 you uh, reduce the effort and make you enjoy it. But uh, it is it is really uh, psychologist says that music really helps you work while working out. So today I will give you a speech about the psychology behind the music while exercising. So can music affect your athletic performance? The answer is yes. Uh, in Furness University, the doctor Costa says uh, he is a leading expert on the psychology of exercise. He said music is a type of labor it's performance enhancing drug. So there, there is a conceived effect of athletic performance. Of music, imp music influences the athletes, uh, mainly the, their efficiency and exertion and strength. So there is such a, a link between exercise and music. Uh, music, music distracts people from pain and fatigue and elevates mood, mood and increase on endurance and reduce the perceived effort and promote metabolic efficiency. So, so in experiments, uh, people people run longer and bike further and swim faster when they listen to listening to music. So psychologists, psychologists explore the reason how music uh, affects affect people to improve in exercise. So, common explanation is distraction. So, music is a good kind of distraction. Um, kind of distraction. <laughs> oh, during exercising, during exercising, you 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 feel the you feel physical exhaustion like uh, sweat production and high heartbeat uh, and and upbeat and upbeat and in enjoyable enjoyable music makes you distract from that kind of physical response uh, because music music um, loud and Loud and enjoyable music. Uh, they have a lot of information to information in brain to process, so that distracts you from focusing on the pain and fatigue. So, so music is the really good kind of distraction. And there is the psychological effect of music during exercise. One is mood enhancements. Uh, people listen to music to change their mood. So it, uh, when you when you start to work out, you you feel you feel refreshed and and have and with your in with your favorite workout music, you you enhance the your mood and so your uh, performance of exercise is can improve. And second is motivation. Uh, motivation means motivation means to 
you you de determine to stick your exercising even if you want to give give up. But music can music music can make you continue to work out because uh, their rhythm and beat makes you keep pace. So it can it motivates you to continue and uh, overcome your pain even if you want to give up. Mm -hmm. So there is two important qualities of workout music. First is tempo, which means speed and rhythm response. Uh, first tempo, for example, a cyclist uh, actually uh, learn faster uh, with when they listen to music because they match their movement to their to music's best tempo so they can show the in improvement in speed in cycling mm -hmm. and rhythm response is the is feeling that you you can't help you can't help moving moving along the music like you want to boogie like mm -hmm. uh not the uh, not head or tap toes like mm -hmm. so these two qualities makes of the, these two qualities of workout music um, makes makes work makes you improve in athletic performance. Mm -hmm. So in exper experiments, these uh, college students chose these three workout music is really helpful in their workout play playlist. Mm -hmm. uh, their common thing is fast song with strong beat. So it, so this like uh, as I said, uh, from her presentation mm -hmm. fifty, uh, this fast song with strong beat, they have a large information to in brain to process mm -hmm. to so they distract people from focusing on fat fatigue. Mm -hmm. So this. A uh, fast song with strong beat make people make people show improvement in exercise. With hip hop and pop and rock music. Mm -hmm. And the uh, benefits of mu music are largest for self-paced exercise rather than on-paced exercise. The self-paced exercise is which are ex exercise is. We have to decide when to act and how to act. Mm -hmm. And differently, on on pace exercise is like you do and football, mm -hmm. which is we can't decide to how to act and when to act because of we of uh, this like this kind of exercise. We have to we can't anticipate the situation mm -hmm. because of other playlists. Mm -hmm. But in that pace exercise, you can match. Which your speed and speed and uh, exertion to music and yes, so the benefits of music are largest for for all paced exercise or psychological sense. So my conclusion is music lets us get physical. Um, mm -hmm. uh, music, <laughs> music. Music uh, gives signals to your brain to keep your pace and continue to work out, and it or, and also uh, your favorite songs make you enjoyable and happy. Mm -hmm. So it can help you to overcome the uh, fatigue and fatigue and pain of exercise. So uh, my conclusion is music lets us get. Please mm -hmm. so, yeah, And this is my mm -hmm. first side. Thank you for this.